Hey there, this is Yoshi. Um, first of all, this is first time using my uh, little attached microphone, so I don't know how the the sound will come out. This is kind of a test sound wise. Anyways, uh, I'm looking at Rupiculus Rupicu, Lelia. Uh, always a mouthful for me. Uh, little update. So uh, this is not though. This is kind of a little more of a testing under the light. So I'm gonna look at that too. They're all like uh, put it together like this. So might as well, right? Now here is Lelia Albaroana. Got it from uh, Olympic Orchids at the show. And as you can tell, rooting really well, and it seems like it's attached to the lava rock. Um, yeah, um, I don't see any new growth, but first of all, I cannot find my tripod, so I'm doing it one hand. But this is a new growth, and seems like it's matured, so I'm waiting for a new growth. So that's that. And this is, uh, so those three are set. Got it at the uh, uh, Emerald City Orchids when they had an open uh, open greenhouse and uh, this one was the only one with the uh, ID so I have to bloom these to ID those uh, too but yeah this is a Lelia and Felzii um, I'm not really sure. So this is the latest growth. So uh, for sure it's doing good, but I can't see him. I can't see any roots or whatever. It's deep down in. Uh, looks like uh, media is kind of getting old though. And there's no space to grow. So I need to repot it somehow. So that's going to be interesting to see what's in it. And this is no ID number one or number two, whatever you call it. Um, it may not look much, but I see uh, new roots coming out. I just can't, uh, let's see. So here's the new roots right here and goes down deep. So it's on the recovery for sure. Uh, those two weren't really in a great shape to begin with. So I just took a chance basically, but yeah, I think it's doing okay. They're reaching out to the pot, I think. So I still, so this is the latest new growth. So I'm not sure how it's gonna play out, but yeah, hopefully in the grow season, it's gonna explode or something so this is another no ID uh, this one's root kind of cut off here I don't know why it dried out or something I keep uh, watering pretty often all of them because those are all in a lava rock I don't know about this one but it's the pot is small and the clay pot so shouldn't be a problem but yeah this one has good roots coming out two three four and here's a f uh, yeah four five maybe going inside a pot so um, it's little by little getting steady um, I don't see any new growth this one looks like uh, the latest but I haven't seen any new growth yet so but it's doing good now this one is I'm thinking about putting back in a greenhouse pretty soon. Catlia Lulu cross Brassabola nodosa. I guess it's called Spotted Clown now. Um, sorry, I have a allergy issue here nowadays. I'm sneezing all day, but uh, this one is exploding. I have to say. Look at those roots. And uh, 
looks like it's getting really good level of light I think and uh, yeah I was wondering if it's gonna keep growing under the light indoor so that's why I did that and I must must say it's doing really well under the light now the under the the light is um, not the one I got as a tester it's a really cheap one from uh, eBay and I'm gonna show you so this is that there are two of them they're like $20 each or $15 each or something like that um, you know not attractive uh, not attractive one of those purple light but it does work and it's right here so the level is really really or I should say it's pretty close so that's where the uh, the one that didn't want to grow and then all of a sudden in the uh, late autumn decided to start growing uh, is here too so that it won't here's some something oh it, I thought it was mealy but, but it's not um, whatever that is um, yeah so it's doing a job uh, so people if you want a cheap grow light because these well this one's not really expensive but you know like a Mars Hydro or something that cost fortune well, in my budget that is uh, those might be okay if you can deal with the purple ones uh, and then there are some uh, uh, white lights available nowadays this one I got it like years and years back so uh, now you know white lights are available so and they're not expensive so I just wanted to mention that so anyways uh, here's how close the uh, cat layers are and there it is yeah it's pretty close um, those guys supposed to take direct sun too so you know I'm assuming it can take it and it's it's taking it it's really doing well so this one looks like a barn but it came with it and it's not splitting and it's really succulent so I'm not too worried about it I think it's a barn from before and it's not something or it's not anything to worry about but anyways yeah that's it I just wanted to give you a quick update on our uh, rubiculous Lelias plus one so but that might go back to greenhouse though as soon as the weather gets nicer so thank you for watching and you guys have a good day bye